Hey, what's up everybody? Nexel here. Today we're playing Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and we are going to be doing our holiday draw tickets deal. It is the last day. There's only two hours left. I'm hoping to get this video up before reset so that if anyone catches it before reset, they remember to do their pulls. But again, it's free medals. It's the only real way of accessing like tier twos up to tier sixes that aren't Kingdom Hearts three medals because they updated the banners to only include Kingdom Hearts three medals and up. So it's the only way of getting those medals. Make sure you use it free stuff. Even if you don't use the medals, you can go ahead and sell them for draw points but with that being said we have 282 to burn so let's go ahead and just do these two small ones first and then we'll start doing them 10 at a time so let's let's fast roll these because this could be taking some time Ooh, all right see here is an example of a tier 5 so remember that tier 5s tier 2s um, anything between those are only available through this draw points deal so really cool stuff again if you don't need anything you can just sell it like, for example, this is a tier 7. That's 7 draw points. That's 7 free draw points to add on to that. So super cool stuff. Let's start doing our 10 pulls. We've got 28 pulls to do. So we're going to kind of race through these a little bit. And considering that we have to uh, we have to sell some medals. We definitely have to sell some medals. I do recommend doing the 10 pull rolls rather than a bunch of single ones just because you get that extra trait medal. And that is game changing. Remember, traits can bring a medal from A class to S class. We did get some... Oh, well, that was quick. All right. So we did get the Xion, which is upgradable and always a good thing to get upgradable metals. And then we actually got the Santasaur early. So super cool stuff. Very, very cool. All right. Well, that resets our counter because it's guaranteed one Santasaur in 10 pulls. So it should reset back to 10 in the game. So illustrated Santasaur guaranteed in 10 tries. Yes, that's exactly what we are expecting. So let's go ahead, do the, do the pull. We'll do the thing, and then uh, we have to sell some metals. All right, looks like we got one upgradable metal in the SP Axle, um, but I think I already have one that actually has, like, all the new traits already. So we can go ahead and do this. It's going to ask us to sell, and we most indeed will sell everything we don't need here. So we can get rid of all these. Let's keep the Xion because that's actually still pretty relevant. Let's keep the Sora because that's pretty relevant. Uh, honestly, whenever I do this, I get kind of scared because um, they have been doing this thing where they are bringing back metals. They are bringing them back as upgrades and it makes me kind of scared that I'm selling something that uh, might be useful to me in the future. Remember, before doing any of this... I highly recommend that you update your sub slots. I am going to keep that Reaper because copy metals, useful. So make sure that you update your sub slots before selling a bunch of metals. We keep the Rikus because those are still good for things like PvP. Um, we can sell the rest of this stuff. Well, let's keep the Leons. Why not? All right. And let's make sure this bad boy is locked up. Very cool. Very cool. Hopefully there aren't any mistakes in here. I don't think I made any let's get rid of these we definitely don't need these goodness i have a lot more stuff to sell than i thought i hope i don't trip while while making this you know because i am actually kind of going through this a lot quicker than i normally would let's actually keep that anthem i actually don't know how many copies of that anthem i have and we keep the sorcerer for good measure. I did pull a few times on stained glass number 14, as you can see there. I was feeling dicey, end of 2020. I was like, you know what, let's sell, or let's let's do a few pulls. All right, let's do one more scan. Just make sure we didn't screw anything up. That we're only sell selling metals we don't care about. We definitely don't want to sell those skills there. Uh, let's see, PvP metals, always good utility, always good value. Copy metals, good value. And I think that's it. Yeah, I just got to make sure I don't sell that axle. If I sell that axle, it's going to be a very, it's going to be a hard day. It's going to be a hard day. Let's make sure you're locked up too. All right. Very cool. So we'll sell all these. Beautiful. And we got 798 draw points. Remember that 10 or 100 draw points gets you a supernova medal, a boosted supernova medal. So that's good stuff. All right. Let's speed it up since we took some time doing that. So we did get, ooh, not too bad. Actually, not too bad of a pull. So this is an upgradable metal, SP Roxas. This is an upgradable metal. Actually, my favorite stained glass metal, stained glass number one, EX+. Plus. I actually have a pin of that from Japan, which is cool. And then I really, really think they're going to upgrade this metal. So I am going to save this for trades. All right. 
I, I just have the feeling, you know? It's like in all the community streams, they're like, yes, that metal. Make that one upgradable. And that's my favorite metal of all time. So if we can have that, that'd be sweet. I'd be excited. That would be the ultimate hype train for me. All right, I, I I'm feeling tier 10. I'm feeling one tier 10 in this poll. My feelings were wrong. <laughs> my feelings were wrong, but we did get a stained glass number six, which is upgradable, which is pretty cool. We also got the Halloween Sora, which is upgradable. Now I know I'm just saying these words, upgradable this, upgradable that. It's the kind of thing where I've been playing the game long enough and keeping track of which metals are upgradable, but I believe that Stanley Quatch and Roboloid both have lists of which metals are upgradable, and I would highly check those two out. They are great resources for anyone who is joining the Kingdom Hearts Union Cross universe. All right, we got a tier 10. It was just one later, but we ended up getting one, which is pretty cool. Nothing else that we need here, though. If you're a new player, you need a heal buffer, Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie EX Plus, solid to start with, but I'd much rather pull from the beginner zeal. The beginner zeal is just so good. Any beginner should start off by pulling from that beginner zeal because a heal buffer, great value, amazing value. And I think it's only 2,700 jewels. Looks like it's all sellable stuff in this pool. Um, ooh, we did get a final boss, Shion, which is upgradable. All right. See, the nice thing about, like, getting the upgradable medals is that they're free traits. If you have a copy of it, if you got VIP when it was a free medal, or not free, I guess, but when it first came out, you can just use them as traits, which is really nice. All right, nothing here really worth saving. Unless they decide to make that World Ends With You medal, um, if they want to upgrade it for when the anime comes out, which is super, super exciting. I am highly looking forward to that anime. Just the trailer alone looked amazing. We did get the Illustrated Ventus A, which is an upgradable metal, and that's pretty sweet. Uh, let, I think we get to do five more pulls until the game tells us no, but I also think that this is our mercy, isn't it? Didn't we do 10 pulls? Ooh, we got the stained glass number three, which is good. Lots of upgradable metals here, actually. So we got stained glass number six and actually just the Shion. Everything else is not upgradable, but still really cool. That Illustrated Roxas looking awesome. All right, I think it's two more. Two more and then we're at the mercy. Ooh, ooh, you know, you know, we take this. This is actually a really decent metal, especially for off hours rating. So we will take that. All right, I think we're down to the one. Guaranteed in one try, yeah. So this is our guarantee and we are at least guaranteed one more copy because we have at least 10 more pulls. So sweet stuff, we got another copy of HC Sora and Kyrie EX and then of course, we got the illustrated Santa Sora, which is going to be good for players that need that ignoring attribute. So let's just say you're in PvE and you don't really have a lot of consistent metals or your strongest setup is always going to be magic. It's good to have that type of metal because, oh well, all right, all right, cool. And we got a key art number three, which is upgradable. Sweet. We take that. We take that. See, it's like at this point, the goal is to get a boosted one. So we have three already, which is actually the maximum amount we would have had if we just did all mercies. Actually, two is the maximum amount, so we got lucky. All right. <laughs> HD Store is just like, get out of my way, Neku. <laughs> all right, so let's see. We can do one more, and then the game is going to force us to sell metals. And in this one, wow, that was hot garbage. That was the hottest of garbage. All right. We got two Musketeer Donalds, I suppose. All right, let's go ahead and sell some stuff. So we're going to sell everything that is not upgradable because upgradable stuff, again, that's free traits. We can use that down the line. So let's get rid of all of these. Prime Axle, man, I really wish they upgraded Prime Axle. That would have been pretty sweet. I think the Prime Metals deserved a second go. I feel like they, they made them sound super exciting and then they totally were not good. All right, let's keep the Shion just in case we want to upgrade. Now, I know some people are going to tell me, you know, the upgrades aren't good, etc., etc., but it's really not about that. I feel like, what is what is six more points, you know? They give draw points so incredibly frequently, especially since there's free pulls all the time. So I'm just like, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. We don't mind upgrading. You know what? I have a feeling they're going to upgrade that one, so we're going to keep that. Uh, we got rid of the rest of this stuff. We keep the Sora, for sure. Sora and Kyrie. All right. Cool. So we get rid of all that, and there is another 455 draw points. That is four tier 10s, and again, we take free stuff. In this game, I can guarantee you 
there is nothing wrong with free stuff. It's not a trap. It's n like they're not going to make the free stuff bad. I've, I've never encountered something in this game that was free that was bad. It was mainly free and difficult to obtain. That's as bad as it got. All right, looks like we only got uh, six stars or lower. Man, they are really giving me the uh, the World Ends With You arc number twos and the Sora and Kyrie EX, which is cool because we could just chill and listen to the music. Um, but, you know, I hope, I hope that they upgrade it. That metal is amazing. Even as a standalone metal, resetting count is, like, pretty good based on what strategy you're using. There it is again! There it is again! They love giving it to us. They love giving it to us, and we love to see it. Very cool. How many did I get from this? At, at the end of this, we're going to tally how many we got of uh, HD Sora and Kyrie EX. Alright, alright. We got a stained glass number four, which is pretty cool and upgradable. So we will take that, and it'll help fill my album. You know what I mean? We'll get the tier nine version, and we got the, uh, the tier... What are they? Tier eights, normally? Pretty cool stuff. We'll take it. Because why not? Alright, alright. Not a bad pull, but not a good one. Again, free stuff. I'm never going to complain about free stuff in this game. There was a time when this game was super brutal about giving out any sources for free, and you really had to work your butt off. Ooh, if only you were the new one. But no, you are the lower quality one. You know, actually, I take that back. I like the artwork of the stained glass one better than the uh, stained glass number six. More than... Stained glass six? Eight? I think that was eight. I like that one better than 14. I just don't like how vibrant number 14 is in comparison. There it is again, the world ends with you, art number two. I think I just have increased rates for those two medals. For the world ends with you, and for HD Sora and Kyrie EX. And for the HD Sora and Kyrie EX, we're not complaining. Best medal in game. Not meta-wise, but my favorite. Definitely not meta-wise. All right, let's see what we got in this pool. Looks like we got some free stuff. Ooh, all right. I see you, Santa Sora, I see you flood in my pools like that all right very cool why don't we sell all of these and then just do the last six because we are not guaranteed a mercy anymore since we pulled that santa sora right there so let's get rid of all these all the non-upgradable stuff again before you sell anything if you're a new player i highly recommend you make sure all your sub slots are as updated as possible that because sub slots that is going to carry you very very far so make sure you have all that updated before you start selling stuff but for me i personally know that all of my sub slots are maxed out right now so there's no point in me holding on to things or updating it every single time all right so we've got six pulls left and then we're good here so if we could squeeze out one more santa sora and a boosted copy of that that would be pretty sweet all right instead Nothing, nothing particularly amazing here, but we are getting free traits for the Santa Sora, which is good because that is the only way, unless you're VIP, that is the only way to obtain the new higher strength traits. Nothing too great here. We did get a copy of HD Xion, which is HD Xion EX, which is going to be a copy metal tier six, unfortunately, but copy metals are really, really good because again, they copy the best metals in game. And as effects get better, copy metals maintain their value. All right, looks like we got an illustrated Aqua A, which can be used for trait material. And then we got uh, three pulls left. So why don't we slow roll the last two? Ooh, all right. All right, we got another Santa Sora. How many did we get? Five? I think we got like five or six. Cool stuff. All right, we'll slow roll the last two. And then maybe we'll do like a draw point steal. If we're feeling saucy, we can do a draw point steal. All right, boom. Nope. Nope, this looks like just sellable material to me. What'd we get? Wow. That was bad. This is... This is like the epitome of bad. Granted, this Riku is upgradable, which is cool. But... Back in the day, back when tier 4s were not guaranteed, that would have been a money pull. Even though the rest were all 5 stars. That would have been a really good pull. Alright. Last one. Let's see if there's any... I think I just used up all my magic on uh, my New Year's deal pull that I did a little bit before this video. Alright, we got one 7 star. And it is... Ah, not an illustrated Santa Sora, but again, we got way more Santa Soras than we would have thought. 
So let's do a quick summary here and then we'll do one draw point seal to close out. So let's go to sell metals. And let's do a head count. So that Terra we can still keep for the time being. Sell everything that is not upgradable nor can be used as traits for upgradable metals. Keep the Santasora, obviously. Get rid of those. Get rid of... Uh, yeah, we get rid of the Xion. I already have a few copies of Xion, so we're good there. I don't believe this one's upgradable. I don't want to bite my tongue on that later, too, so... We'll just save that for now. Get rid of those. So that's another two boosted metals, which is really cool. So we've got one. A two. Three. Four. And... Was it only four? I thought I got more than that. Huh. Did I sell one? Oh, no, here it is. Five. Very nice. Very nice. All right. So we got five of that. Now, how many of the Sora and Kyrie EXs did we get? We got one, two, three, four. Four of them. All right. Very cool. Very cool. All right. So let's wrap this up with two draw point steals, and then we are out. So we got... 5,400. We got 52 medals. Um, unfortunately, the pool isn't super great. The last time they updated it, they only gave us the Vanitas Remnant and none of the newer medals, which is pretty unfortunate. Um, but what that means is I'm just going to save for better draw point seals in the future. All right. So for now, we get, all right, tier 10, boosted Gula. Not bad. And then one last one. Let's see if we can even get a tier 10. Because quite frankly, I think tier 10s, their odds are only like maybe a quarter one every four something like that i haven't actually looked at the actual odds so i'm not really sure but free is free and unfortunately we end up with a tier nine copy metal which is always a good thing um but nonetheless a tier nine copy metal but with that being said that's all for now thank you all so much for watching as always if you have any questions comments or concerns please feel free to leave them down in the comments below and i'd be happy to answer when i have the time if you'd like to join my discord get some additional off hours help go ahead type that link in the yellow box right below the screen into your url and you should be good to go but that's all for now thank you all so much for watching and as always until next time take it easy